let the shot clock go down. Seven, six, five. Land on the baseline with a hook shot that doesn't go. But still, time is of the essence. There's only a second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Moultrie missing a three. D. Bost trying to keep it alive, but Kentucky's got the ball. And now they do have a foul on the baseline with 25 seconds left. And the number one team in the country apparently is going to survive a big scare on the road tonight. I don't understand Mississippi State not fouling. And then again, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. I mean, those are winning rebounds. And I think he tried to sell it there at the end. But th th those are those are winning and advancing the bracket type rebounds that Michael Kidd Gilchrist and Terrence Jones and Anthony Davis can get for you. Yeah. Jalen Steele also limped over to the Mississippi State bench. So they already lost his starter tonight. And he's the guy that's taken Rodney Hood's spot for the entire game. And that last foul on D. Boss, I think an intentional foul on Kid Gilchrist shoving him out of bounds. And a flagrant one called. And that's why Kid Gilchrist is all alone at the free throw line. And D. Boss was making no honest effort to play the ball. That was a. All he was doing was foul on purpose to stop the clock and by rule, by definition, flagrant one. By the way, he did help Kid Gilchrist up yes. after he did it. <laughs> the frustration of a great night of basketball by D. Boss just got away from there for a second. He'd be the first guy to tell you that. I am so impressed with the determination and the resiliency that Kentucky has shown in this ballgame, Brad, because it was there for the taking from Mississippi State. 